Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. This morning, we are mixing up the last bottle for our little bottle baby lamb there. So, let's get to it. That's how you know it's good. So it is 5.30 in the morning, I think just a little bit before 5.30 in the morning, and it is beautiful out here. It must be, it must be 16 or 17 degrees out. Just a gorgeous morning, a little bit overcast. Well, a lot overcast, but still nice and warm. We've already been and checked on the chickens. All the chicks are good. So let's get over to the sheep. Whoa. All done, all done breakfast. <laughs> Yummy, eh? Hey? So while I'm out here, I might as well check for any more baby lambs. We've been saying that Olga is gonna be any day now for several days. And I mean, of course it's any day now. It could be any day between yesterday and next lambing season. So, but I'm just looking at it right now and I'm not seeing any lambs and I'm seeing she's still as wide as a bus. So, hmm, any day now. <laughs> you know, it's strange, it's kind of eerie actually, because usually when you come out here this time in the morning, there's a whole bunch of that, a whole bunch of bleeding, bang. And the girls are just calm and peaceful and just laying here quite content this morning. And there's not, it's just a very, very serene morning, I guess. So our little lamb went down the road and uh, he's happily all tucked in with his new home. We did actually send him down the road with uh, one of our twins. We split off one of the twins from Edith who, uh, who had lamb just a couple days prior to, so they're right around the same age. And that might kind of seem like a monstrous thing to do to take a, a lamb away from its mother, but if she loses a lamb, she'll be over it within 24 hours. Whereas that other lamb, if it's by itself, It'll be stressed for the rest of its life and is it's gonna not be good. So to set that uh, lamb up for a win, um, it's it's you know kinda through cruelty, I guess. But anyways, so talked to Buddy there and uh, they're all tucked in cozy. He sent me a picture. They look like they're actually quite happy in their little shelter that he built them. So we'll check it in a couple days and see how they're making out. So I don't know what kind of monstrous babies. Olga's gonna have here, but boy oh boy, is she ever hanging on to him for a long time? And she is no doubt as wide as a bus. We're really hopeful it would just be this weekend and we get lambing done, but maybe not just yet. I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed for the weekend. <laughs> I have a feeling, much like Juliet did last year and Gertrude the year before, that she's gonna be the one that keeps us waiting. Well, I was going to close out with a shot of the donkey, but uh, he ran off clear across the field and wanted nothing to do with me. So I figured I'd come in the chicken house here and show you our little baby chicks. You can see they're just starting to feather out in their wingtips there. And uh, so still be probably two more weeks before we get these guys introduced to grass, but we're looking forward to that. Boy, we are sure getting some pretty colors out here in the sky this evening. That's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. Red sky at night, sailor's delight, right? I think that's what they say. Anyways, I was supposed to do something yesterday and I did not, and so I, I owe somebody an apology. Cassie Rooker, she turned 12 years old. Her dad, uh, I work with him, and so I just wanna say a happy belated birthday, Cassie. I hope you had a wonderful day. And on that note, I think it's time to, for me to go for a cup of tea, so I'll let you go for now. I hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.